Hello, let's get started using Utility Buddy. Go to Window, Utility Buddy. I have mine automatically docked in here, but you can undock the panel and dock back in, or just have it float around, whatever works for you. Uh, now, let's get into what this tool does. So, under you can search for things based off of fonts, effects, or expressions. So, under fonts, um, say we, first I should hit refresh, because it loads in the current project, all this stuff in there. Um, it, we have three fonts in here. Let's look at Arial MT. Now we're going to be able to, this is the name of the comp and this is the name of the layer. Now we can go to the layer. If you try to hit go to layer while on that comp, it won't go anywhere. But if you try to go to layer while selecting layer, it'll bring you to that layer. It's kind of just like using the project manager. All right, so now if we want to replace all the fonts in the project, we can't. We can go Arial Black. Anywhere there is Arial MT, we'll now have Arial Black. Let's replace that font. And as you can see, it updated those things. Okay, now we have the similar thing for effects. We hit refresh, it loads in the current project thing. We have directional blur on here. Now let's go to the layer that has that on there. We have shape three has directional blur. Oh, we should be deleting that one. Let's delete the directional, directional blur. Or say we were like, okay, now we now directional blur is off our docket. We can go to fast box blur. And we can go to any of the layers that have it in there as well. Let's look at the comp as it's doing it. So each one of these have fast box blur. Now if we wanted to change that to a different kind of blur, maybe a gauze and blur. Gauze and blur, here we go. We hit gauze and blur. We can add that effect to anywhere the fast box blur is. So now we can have that in instead of this one. So maybe we want to blur it with this kind of blur instead. I don't know why you'd want that, but maybe you do. Um, so now that we have this one copied in, we can copy everything about it, control C, and paste it into the other ones. And we can delete fast box blur out, and now we have swapped all of fast box blur out for Gaussian blur. It's a totally different effect in this situation, but you get the idea. And the last one is expressions, and this is to help you find anything that's using an expression having position or opacity. Um, in position, we have a shape layer here that has position with this effect on, or with this uh, expression on it. We can go to that layer, and we can see that expression is right here. It's, it won't bring you directly to the expression, but it will bring you to the layer that has the expression. So if you are digging around, you may have to still find it inside here, but it brings you to the general area. Now I know you might be thinking, I could already do all this. Well, not really. And you can find things that were missing fonts or missing footage, but if you are missing effects, but if you already have, if you have the things and they're not missing, then you can't find them. Also, you can't replace all your fonts out at once and you can't add an effect anywhere that effect already was. The expression thing only works if the expression is broken. So say I did this. Now we have the broken expression. Find that expression and it would bring you to it. Uh, parenthesis, brackety. There we go. Now that expression is fixed. And that's how this works. And if you need any help, there is a help button here. We'll bring you to the documentation. And I hope that you enjoy this product.